In this type of marriage, both parties come together and agree, okay, that it is okay to have extramarital, sexual, or romantic affairs. It's okay to have a boyfriend. It's okay to sleep with somebody else, and I will sleep with somebody else, and we both do not regard it as infidelity. Imagine if I, as a woman, I do not want to have kids. All right, and I'm going into the religion, the societal standard of marriage where you are expected, obviously, like after a few months of marriage, you're expected to have kids. I'm going into marriage with someone that also has that expectation, and I know deep down within me that I do not want to have kids. What business really do I have in that kind of marriage? Did you know that the type of marriage you choose for yourself can influence your relationship success and your overall personal happiness? Literally, like, whenever we want to get married, we do not... I don't know, you owe it to yourself to literally do the due diligence of deciding the type of marriage you want to go into, the type of marriage that best suits your situation. If you don't do that, you've already failed before you even started. The world has changed. We're all aware. It's crazy. It's scary. The world is moving so, so, so fast. And marriage seems like the most attacked institution. And that is why I started thinking about this and I decided to share what, you know, what I've come to realize after thinking about why it's looking funny you know in my last vlog i talked about it like what's happening why are marriages breaking up 20 years in marriage what's happening you know and i just realized that it's probably because we do not choose the right type of marriage for ourselves if you choose the right type of marriage then you've even won before the battle even began in this video we shall be discussing what marriage is the different types of marriage you know how to choose the best type of marriage for yourself why it is important to choose the best type of marriage for yourself and how to make it work if this sounds like something you're interested in then please sit down relax get your popcorn get your cup of tea get your juice get your mania okay get your your wine <laughs> sit down and enjoy the rest of this video <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Mabel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're seeing this face for the first time, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. So let us begin by defining what marriage is. I wrote it down here, all right? Marriage from Google, okay? Marriage is the legal or formally recognized union of two people as partners in a personal relationship. Or marriage is the state of being united to another person as a spouse, legally, consensually, or contractually. It's self-explanatory. Marriage is just basically two people coming together to declare formally that they are an item, okay? And as beautiful as that sounds, there are so many issues that comes with it, okay? Communication issues, sexual incompatibility, financial problems, life challenges, life stresses, so many issues, you know, infidelity, unmet expectations, so many things affect this union that people mostly go in together and say, oh, we want to do this, okay? And as much as things affect it, it is important for you to know the type of marriage you want to go into. Why is it important for you to choose very well the type of marriage you want to go into? It's important because we are all different. Just as we are different, our needs are different, our expectations are different, our likes are different, our dislikes are different. The thing is that we have a societal standard for marriage. We have um, maybe a religious standard for marriage and everybody wants to model that type of marriage. If your marriage is not a religious type of marriage, why then do you want to model a religious marriage? If you think a religious marriage is for you, then go for a religious marriage. If you think polygamy is for you, you have no business in monogamy. Do you understand what I mean? So it's different for different people. We are all different. So think about your stage of life at this point and decide what you want. You know, we live in self-denial most times, but acknowledge your present reality. Acknowledge your present situation and ask yourself what do i need do i need money do i need a man now that will give me money should i marry this man for money is that what i need at this point do i need love do you understand what do i need the way i am what can i what can what can i do to 
experience bleeds in marriage because I want to get married. Do you understand what I mean? And if you don't want to get married, it's simple and it's good. Don't go ahead. It's something that you should decide to do. You should decide why you want to do it. And then you should choose wisely the type of marriage you want to go into depending on your circumstance. Imagine if I, as a woman, I do not want to have kids. All right, and I'm going into the religion, the societal standard of marriage where you are expected, obviously, like after a few months of marriage, you're expected to have kids. I'm going into marriage with someone that also has that expectation, and I know deep down within me that I do not want to have kids. What business really do I have in that kind of marriage? So I'll quickly move to how do I choose? How do I now choose? the best type of marriage for me. Or before we go into that, let us go into the different types of marriage briefly. Let me just run, run by that quickly, yeah? Let me begin with parenting marriage, okay? The different types of marriage. Number one, parenting marriage. This type of marriage is usually done for the sole purpose of, you know, raising kids a certain way. Raising kids, basically. In this kind of marriage, both parties already understand. They already understand and they've come to terms with the fact that we do not have any romantic connection or feelings between us anymore. However, we have same values about how we want to raise kids. We, want to we care so much about our kids that we can actually co-parent in a peaceful way just to make sure that we raise these kids a certain way. Do you get what I mean? So, obviously... In this kind of marriage, there is mutual respect. Even though one party has in another relationship, they don't rub it in. Like there's much, the environment is just, you know, very safe and respectful. You know, they are able to work. To, it's like a work kind of relationship where I can compromise because I know that okay, you have you have a date today. Okay, you have a date. You have to go out with your girlfriend, so I can be the one around with the kids at this point. You know, there's a lot of respect and compromise that goes down in that type of marriage. The second type of marriage is the companionship marriage. In this kind of marriage, it's basically not about anything else. It's not about kids. Unlike the parenting marriage, this one is not about children. It's not about raising children. They both probably even have their kids and they just want a companion it's about friendship it's about having somebody around to socialize with somebody to talk to somebody to be with okay it's not even about romance most times it's not about romance or anything like that it's just for that friendship you know instead of being alone at home you want to have a buddy that you just share your time with you just share things with, you can go out with. So basically, it's just basically for companionship. And that's why it's called companionship marriage, obviously. <coughs> The third part is the open marriage, okay? In this type of marriage, both parties come together and agree, okay, that it is okay to have extramarital, sexual, or romantic affairs. It's okay to have a boyfriend. It's okay to sleep with somebody else, and I will sleep with somebody else, and we both do not regard it as infidelity. The only thing is that we both have to be safe for each other, right? So it's that simple. People come together, and they're in open marriages. If you're in an open marriage, please tell us in the comments. I don't know how you guys do it, because I'm not sharing anybody with anybody. Do you understand? I'm not sharing my man with a fly. I'm not sharing my man with a mosquito. So I don't know how you guys, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. If I, if I don't know, I just feel like that kind of marriage is not based on love. That's my own personal opinion because I feel like if you love someone or you love something, even food, your favorite food sometimes is hard to share. <laughs> You know, even with my kids, sometimes when they are having something that they like, I'll be like, share with your brother. No, mommy, I don't want to share. Because you love that thing, okay? So, I don't know if, if you are in an open marriage, let me know. Is there still love? Is it that you just want to have fun? I don't understand it. But it's a marriage where they just come up and... There are different forms, funny enough, of open marriage. There's the swinging or the swapping. They call it husband swapping or wife swapping. There's the one where both... I don't know what that one is called. Where both parties have to agree on who you are going to be in a sexual relationship with. And if you go outside the agreed set of people, then you have cheated. It's complicated, yeah? So we have the polygamy where a man has more than one wife. Women, co-wives are happy to share the husband, okay? And we have the polyandry where it's the opposite, where co-husbands are happy to have one wife, share one wife this world now we have so many others we have a um, same sex <laughs> we have same sex marriage now new things you know the world is really moving fast crazy yeah we have the safety marriage the safety marriage people tend to think it's gold digging okay it's just very simple both of us have to agree to come into marriage for 
certain benefits yeah for example i want to get married for money he knows i'm getting married to him for money and there is something he needs from me as well and then we can come together and agree to go into marriage for that purpose for example he might want to get married to an educated person he's not educated he needs me for his social you know for social events just to say well, i'm married to an educated woman he needs his kids to have an educated mother do you get what i mean so and then he knows that in return i need the money <laughs> god <sighs> i would just end by talking about the religious marriage which is which is the type of marriage that i am in it's different i am in a civil marriage and a religious marriage okay but let's talk about the religious marriage it is one where both parties have to exchange vows before God and before man. It has to be blessed by God. It's it's mostly done in a religious structure, like in the chapel, in the church, you know. But it is just like the name implies, a religious marriage where we are, we are in short, in that kind of marriage. It's not just the man and the wife. It is the man, the wife, and God at the middle of that kind of marriage. Of course, they have the um, what's it called now? interreligious right yeah i think interreligious interfaith of or mixed marriage i think it's all the same thing mixed interfaith in no interfaith maybe is maybe the same religion but different denominations but interreligious or mixed marriage is where both parties belong to two different you know so there are different different types of marriages basically that's the point so by time you have understood that there are different types of marriages it's and you know the different types of course there are so many more you know the different types of marriages it's now easy for you to now choose the type that best suits you do you understand so one mistake we make is that we assume that okay this is the only type of marriage there is and you want to go into that meanwhile that does not suit your circumstance that does not suit you that does not suit your expectations and you know there are issues at that point <laughs> if you know that you cannot be faithful to one woman Jejeli, Jejeli become a polygamist. It's that simple. Except you don't have money. I don't know. But if you, if, yeah, if you like women, make money then. Make money because rich polygamists actually, I think they have more peace. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not into polygamy. I don't like it. It's too much bad blood in my opinion. Too much negativity. But for people that have money, they seem all right. <laughs> so if you know that. You cannot be faithful. You have no business going into monogamy. You have no business going into one man, one wife. Because obviously you know. So when you know, why then do you go ahead? So how do I choose the right type of marriage for me? It's not rocket science. It's very simple. Obviously, understand and analyze the different models or the different types of marriages, yeah? After that, next thing is to analyze your own needs. Analyze your needs, your lifestyle, okay, your expectations. Analyze it. Think about it. Where am I at? What do I expect from a marriage? What do I want to achieve from a marriage? What do I not want? Basically, like, what do I want? What do I not want? Analyze everything carefully. That would help guide you through making the right decisions, yeah? Next thing is to reflect. Reflect. You have to do a lot of reflecting, by the way. You don't reflect once. You reflect a lot about it. Reflect. Search yourself. You can lie to anybody, but you cannot lie to yourself. So search yourself deep down. Reflect a lot about this. However, as much as you, it looks so defined, 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 it's not really, really defined. So be open for adjustments. Be open-minded. Be open for adjustments because things can happen. Things can change. Situations and circumstances can change so be open-minded all right and then if you need to seek advice from a professional then seek professional advice um and then maybe you know it's good that if you want to be a doctor obviously and you want to have a mentor your mentor should probably be a doctor so that you can follow the footsteps so look for somebody that is successful if you want to be a polygamist look for a successful polygamist that can mentor you so that you can seek advice from them as well know about their mistakes ask if everything they are going through is what they expected you know just basically do a lot it's just very simple and direct and then make your decision do not make your decision like when you're making your decision that helps you know who you're going to go after it's just like people that are as obviously they know that they have no business marrying as yeah obviously now things have changed and i know that medically there's something that can be done but for the most part 
on the first date you're already asking what what is your genotype what's your blood group what let me tell me now let me know everything about you because you know exactly what you want and what you do not want so even before investing in a relationship you already know the kind of conversations to have this is really really going to guide you and this leads me to really talking about how to make it work how to make that your marriage work because i believe that each of these marriages when you're reflecting or researching check you know the challenges that each of these marriages might face okay i don't believe that there is any formula for a happy marriage i don't believe sometimes i think it's luck or the grace of god or maybe the work the commitment that both of you you know the work that both of you put in right but as much as i don't believe that there's a formula i just want to advise on a few things that can help help make it work first of all it is important to make room for life's changes i keep saying this that's why you come and hold me and say oh maybe you said you will not live in nigeria today you're in nigeria because we change okay make room for adjustments make room for life's changes make room for children children can come in a job can come in health issues basically anything whatsoever but just be aware in your spirits make room be flexible be open-minded for life's changes secondly i would say that you should invest enough time in communication communicate they communicate like communicate tell me how it is doing you per time me and you were on this page now we're not on this page or i'm probably drifting away without even rec recognizing it or without even realizing it is your job to communicate and when you're communicating, communicate to understand and be understood, not to defend. Of course, we're not perfect. Understand it that we're not perfect. Understand that we need to talk. We need to always, like, we are humans. That's how God has created us. Like, we are beings that talk. We communicate, right? So, be open to communication. Open your mouth and communicate as much as possible. Most men do not like communication. It's stressful because we women will talk a lot, right? But invest time. It's, it's one of the things that would help you, I promise. Um, I would say, again, be open okay be open be sincere be honest like carry the other person along be honest if i say i want to do live with you why should i hide anything from you like be sincere like when you say something mean it mean it say only what you mean and mean what you say be as open as possible be as sincere as possible you know, be aware that, you know, like I was mentioning different types of marriage anyways. Some people are married in a way that they know that this kind of marriage, we need our spaces. We have different lives, but we're married, right? If you're not in that type of marriage, cha, be open. If you're not feeling it anymore, be open. Help each other. It's a, two people to something now. Nah. It's not, it's not only me. It's not only you. Do you, do you get? <laughs> um, lastly, I would say that be open to therapy. You know, go for therapy if you need to. I know we are, a lot of Africans do not like therapy because we're like, the person that is the therapist, that's the person finished solving her own problems, his own, why would I come and carry my own? Bro, this is their profession, okay? They were trained to do this. Sometimes, eh, therapy could just be the fact that you have somebody to listen to you, somebody to vent to. It is therapeutic that you have someone that you are paying money to just listen to your thought process. Listen to your partner's thought. That, there's something about therapy. I haven't had one. I am open. I haven't had therapy before, but it's something that you should be open to, be open about. Really, there's no biggie. And I think that with these, with understanding what suits you, you know, with carefully deciding how to choose the best marriage for you and you know taking my advice on how to make it work you know i feel like we should be good and we're going to have less divorce this is my own opinion let me know your opinion this is my own my 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 thinking can be very deep okay i go extra extra mile when thinking these are what i have come about because i've been worried i told you guys that me and my husband we used to pray about our marriage our marriage is centered, you know, God is at the center of our marriage. And so with what is going on like a pandemic in the world, we pray. It's funny. <laughs> my cousin say, baby, come on here. My cousin and her <laughs> husband, they pray for their marriage not to be separated. Una, I like this on our marriage. <laughs> that thing is so funny. That's how much we love the marriage. Yes, we love our marriage so much that we are very intentional and we pray. If you're 
Christian and you're in a religious marriage, pray. Pray, but also do the work. As much as you're praying, do the work. So let me know what you think. Do you think this video was helpful? Did you learn one or two things from this video? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched up until here, if you want to be a part of my YouTube family, please do well to hit the subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up and share this video with somebody that, you know, this can help. Somebody that is saying, oh, you shall get married. Ah, I'm scared though. The way marriages are breaking up. Share this video with that person today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.